much three gigs and I go in a Mike, night that's a lot of fucking driving he says you can do it don't worry about it <laughs> 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 and, and I mean, I know how I did without, you know, getting killed or killing someone. It was crazy. Rhode Island was but, always fun. And yeah. then when Kennison, when, when I first met Kennison out at the store, I said, oh, my God. It was like a revel. I'd never seen anything. And I've seen everybody. You know? Right, right. And I, I said, this is. Um, so I call him. And I go, you got to see this fucking guy. He's nuts, man. It's unbelievable. He's like this preacher who does comedy that's in, insane. And so uh, we bring him to Boston. And, and, and Nick's is the first stop. Fire Bad. I had to fire him after the first show. Why? He he showed up all fucked up, and you know I, I got him some blow, and he <laughs> went on stage, and he, got, he just he, he got, was doing like new material. Yeah. And I said, Sam, is there any way you could do your HBO? He goes, No, no bro, that's, that's been done, done. That's been done. And I go, Well, I, I got to let you go. He goes, I figured that. Uh, well, yeah. Then I got him a gig at the Connection. Then he got fired from that, there. Then you had him a place in Malden. He got fired. Then he shows up at Stitches at my gig. And he comes walking in. And I go, oh, Sam, man, I, 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 I can't lose this gig. This is, my, this is my big money gig. And he goes, do you trust me? Do you trust the beast? Do you trust the beast? Bring me on. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know, you saw him on the, the, uh, HBO. Said, HBO, Saturday Night Live. He, he's one of the best I've ever seen. Sam comes, <laughs> he comes stumbling out <laughs> with half a bottle of Moet. Chugs it down, burps and says, someone's fucking me tonight. And from then on, he just he found burnt home. the room down. And by the end of the night, they had hired him to come back to do the back room at the Paradise. And wow. it was off and running. But, oh, my God. This is like 86? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. Right after his oh, special. Yeah. You know what we did? So we're, we're in New York and we're doing Caroline's. Right? And, I mean, everybody, was, everybody comes out to see the show. It's unbelievable. And they're going to do... Uh, Rolling Stone, he's on the cover of Rolling Stone, and he's supposed to do the Today Show. So he he flies in every girl that's ever broke up with him and puts them all up in the same hotel in different floors. I go, it's oh my fucking God. genius. Go, do you miss Daddy? Do you miss Daddy? It's money ever. It was fucking <laughs> crazy. So I, I, and I told the story to more than a small group of people, but we're in the room, <clears throat> and... Uh, I'm lying on this side of the bed. Brother's Bill here. His mom's there. Sam's passed out in the chair. We, we've been going for days. And uh, <laughs> Sam's mother goes, Lenny, you got to get Sam up. He's got to do a Today Show. And I go, Today Show? That's huge, man. We can't blow this up. And he was just at the point where he, he didn't care anymore. I'm not done. So uh, I said, Sam, Sam, get up. Get up. You got to do this. Your mother wants you to do it. This is big for you. It's great for your career. And we turn on the TV, and he's putting on his fucking lenny he's putting on his coat and this challenger takes off and we also we watch it explodes he goes i will this i fucking will this now everyone back to bed and, <laughs> and his mother's just going oh lenny and then the phone rings oh, this is today's show we won't be using sam today oh my god Don't have a I, fucking willed will. oh, I, I willed it i willed it because you didn't want to go on the today show oh, yeah. So oh, that's hilarious. So, so, later, so later he goes, you know, he goes, that was a horrible thing to happen, you know, to lose all those assets. But, you know, I, I guess she was a teacher, you know, I forget her name. And he goes, and the kids were in, in the classroom and they're all watching. Oh, anyone want some cookie? This cake, this cake. Oh, man. Right after that. I mean, you know, but he was, he was fearless, fearless. Yeah, he yeah. was, fe you know. I don't know if you know the story about him, but his brother Bill wrote that book, Brother Sam. Yeah. And he talked about how Sam got hit by a car when he was a little kid. Mm. He was a normal kid. And he gets this horrible head injury. And then all of a sudden was fearless. Like that happened to Roseanne and that happened to him. Wow. Same exact story. Hit by a car. I didn't know. That. One personality yeah. changes 100%, becomes a totally different personality, and becomes this wild, reckless person. Oh, Happened to both of them. Listen, you know, <clears throat> all these, all these, uh, these documentaries about him and stuff. And I see people that were on the periphery edges. I mean, I was with him for a few years. I mean, we're bringing him to Boston. We brought him to Boston when he wasn't making a lot of money, and Mike paid him, and he he loved it, and, and we became real good friends. And it was a. Uh, it was just a, a time in life that I, I never mm. saw anything like that. And yeah. when he'd break into the preacher thing with his little feet dancing. Yeah. You know, I mean, and so one night we were up, he started canceling, missing gigs, and he missed the U University of Arizona. Uh, and uh, his his manager goes, and he had a big time manager. They had just got him, you know, the 
cover Rolling Stone, all that stuff. And he goes, Lenny, you've got to get him to, to the show tomorrow. You're opening for him. I said, okay. So Sam goes, come on, we'll go back to the place. And we're, we're doing <laughs> doing massive amounts of blowing shit. And I'm going up to go to the bathroom. I'm not, <laughs> he never gets up to go to the bathroom. <laughs> 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 it was just, I smash cup with, we're in Tampa and we're doing a show it was the year that Tampa lost every game the professional football team and they came in and some big offensive linemen biggest guys ever seen can we meet Sam said, yeah, Sam these guys want to meet you and one of them breaks out a little blow and Sam goes <laughs> blows away and he goes whoa and Sam takes out a bag puts it down <laughs> Not do the rest, you pussies! And walks out, and they look at him like, yeah, he's not human. <laughs> so, so, so we go back to his place, and now it's 3 in the morning. It's 4 in the morning. And we're supposed to take a 7 o'clock flight. And he said, yeah, we're not going to make that flight. It's 8 o'clock flight. It's only an hour out of, you know, L.A. to Arizona there, right? So so 10 o'clock, the, the uh, manager shows up. And let me go. Hey, man, this is not good. Well, this is a makeup show. You, you you didn't show for this. It's a makeup show. It's sold out. And he goes, uh, take Lenny would you? And, and and I'll be I'll follow on. <laughs> so we're in the we're in the plane. And he says, uh, how much time you got, Lenny? I said, well, how much do you need? He goes, well, you know, <laughs> until he gets here. So I go on. I'm supposed to do twenty. I'm I'm at about fifty four. And I'm going, man, I'm running out. And I'm holding him off. You know, Sam, Sam, I'm going, holding him off. And I look over, and he's on an oxygen tank with a mask. And he goes, <laughs> he goes and, and it's the big coat. He goes, bring me on. The dead live. The dead live. Bring me on. So I bring, I bring him on, and the place goes crazy, 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 mm. crazy. And afterwards, we go to some strip club, right? And so we're in there. Everyone's wild, man. He's a big star. You know what I mean? People can't believe it. So we're sitting. All the strippers come over, and he's throwing money around. And, and someone throws a can of beer. And he goes, that's it. He goes, you girls want to make more money in a night than you make in a month? Come with me. And we go, about eight of them come, and we get in a limo, and we go back to the hotel. And we're up to the hotel. We're doing lines of drinking and everything. And he goes, Lenny, he goes, I know you're married. He goes, but in about five minutes, things are going to change. <laughs> he, goes, he goes, you might want to go. He says, because once you open this door, you'll never be able to close it again. And I, I thought, my, all right, brother, okay. And so I left and I went back to my room, got, my, got an extra cookie from the double tree, you know, went up in my room. So the next morning, I get up and I go over to the room and I open it up and it's fucking destroyed and there's blood everywhere and there's people sitting around crying, They're fucking crying. And I'm going, I'm going, where's Sam? Oh, it was horrible. I'm going, where's Sam? I don't know. And I'm, and I'm fuck this. So I, I, I get a cab, I go to the airport and I fly back and to this day, I never know what happened. There was one guy Magic. I mean, if you ever listen to this magic, find me because I I want to know what. But it looked like it <laughs> looked like a bomb when a shit was broken all over. The, I mean, like a trashed place, but like dangerously trashed and and blood and still still blow left and and oh, it was I, I don't know what happened that night. You know, Mark Maron yeah. was hanging out with him back in the day when Mark was a doorman at the comic yeah, store. The store. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, I remember. And he's a young kid. Yeah. He did so much coke with Kinnison that he heard voices for a year. Wow. His head was broken. He heard voices in his head for a fucking year, and that's when he sobered up. He came to Boston well, right yep. after that. Right. Yep. That's when I met him. Yep. I yep. met Marin in 88 when he had just just was trying to get his brain back online. Right. Yeah. He was fried. They, oh, they yeah. cooked his brain. They were just up for days. Oh, no, Not many people could run oh, with Sam. I saw, we're, we're in Boston, and we... I think we do stitches, and we close. I say, come on, we'll go over to Lansdowne Street because Buddy Vass was running that. So now we're drinking bottles of champagne like it's going on. He goes, that's it, man. It's enough. We got to go. So we leave, and Sam goes, where are we going now? And I go, I don't know, man. It's There's, there's no bars open. It's after two. He goes, you got to know a place. I go, most of the places I know, that they're, they're, they're folded up. They've been shut down. He goes, wait a minute. He goes, the limo we had the other night had booze in it. He goes, yeah. Call a limo. So they call a limo. It comes fully stocked. What about He goes, never underestimate my power. And we've been drinking it. It was great. I said, what a brilliant, brilliant. How this shit happened then? You know, it was just, it was insane. Just not human. He's a wild motherfucker. That's oh. for sure. He changed comedy. He really did. Uh, oh. he, he changed what comedy was. It, it became something like before him, it was people telling jokes. But he was so outrageous. And when he did that HBO special, that one that he did from the Roxy yeah. on, on Sunset. I was there, yeah. That fucking special changed comedy. 
Like oh, it yeah. changed people's idea. Like when he did that joke about the homosexual necrophiliacs oh, having that, that, sex with the on the stage. Yeah. I'm on my way to heaven. Wait, Wait I, oh, oh, he's fucking oh. in the ass. It never ends. <laughs> so what, I was just, I'm at the store one night. I go in and the cops, the cops left Sam. And there was like about seven squad guys out in front of the comedy store. I'm going, oh, Sam. You go, and they're all lined. The wall, the steps and wall, they're all watching him, and he's bombing, you know. I mean, he, he, he goes, yeah, you, it's, you people don't seem to like me. I, I want you to do me a favor. I, I, you know, when you go home tonight, I want you to take a, a piece of paper, a napkin, something, anything, you find, and I want you to write on it someone in your life that's passed, you know, a brother, a sister, a mother, the sacred dead. I want you to take that home, and I want you to get home, and I want you to wipe your fucking ass with <laughs> So fucking fun. And everywhere we went, he would leave like 20 or 30 tickets for the cops in that town, wherever we were. You know? Really? Yeah, yeah. No, the cops would always show up. Oh, was, that was, that's uh, awesome. Oh, I, so one night we're up at Mitzi's and he's up there jamming with Eric Clapton, Whoa. Phil Collins. I forget who the other guy was. And, and, and they're on the porch and he's got the guitars and we're rocking it out, right? And I'm going, I, I can't play, but I'm going, this is insane. And so the cops come. And he goes, Lenny, take care of it. So I go up, and there's like three, four cars, the lights go, and I go, what's on? I said, hey, it's, you, you got to cut it down. I said, oh, man, you're not going to believe it. Eric Clapton's on there with Phil Collins, and they jam out with Sam. And he goes, Sam, can we meet Sam? <laughs> so I go down, and I go, Sam. The cop said, it's okay, but you got to come up and take a picture with him. And he goes, you fuck. I said, Sam. I said, see that? They're closing it down. So he goes up, and they have Polaroids. That's when they had the Polaroid wow. cameras. Out of, and they took Polaroids. I had me taking the Polaroids of Sam and the cops. It was, I wonder what, I'd, I'd love to see those pictures. But it was you never knew who was going to come over there. You never knew who was going to come over there. It was just incredible. He's the example that I always give to comics of uh, a guy who was at one point in time <clears throat> one of the best ever. Oh, yeah. But then dropped off hard. Like, he dropped off in a big way. Just stopped writing, too much partying. His brother talked about it in the book. Mm -hmm. He just, it, it's what can happen. Like, you right. can't. You, you gotta respect this fucking thing and he was just all about the ride and then also he became very very famous probably too famous right you know well we we were doing the outlaws of comedy at the dunes that's how long ago the dunes wow. is there now. and uh he had driven out with tamayo tamayo asuki and uh i got a call early in the morning lenny lenny come quick sam dead i go what so i go over to the uh, to the Caesar's Palace, they, they had to be, and I can't wake him, can't wait, take, take the champagne thing, take it out, pour water on me, and smile, pushes me out of the way, and, sit, and she goes, welcome to Japan, Mr. Bond. <laughs> 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 Sam would ever say that every morning. <laughs> you would ever say that every morning? <laughs> Tamayo, Tamayo, I mean, I, she was so funny, man, you know, she was, I, I really enjoyed her, and she was sweet, I worked with her, I used to work with her at the store a lot, you know, I don't, I don't know if she's... Is she still doing comedy? I don't know. I haven't yeah, seen her yeah, ever. Yeah, she, ever. Oh, she, oh, she did this. <laughs> she came up. You know, in your country, you say, I work miles to school in the snow. In my country, you drop atomic bomb on us. <laughs> 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 Crazy <laughs> shit. Yeah, funny, funny, funny stuff, man. But he, he was, oh, first time I ever did ecstasy, it was, they were closing the, the club that he started at in Austin, Texas. He goes, we're all going. Laugh stop. Yeah, we're all going. So uh, he 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 drove. I think he drove. I I flew down. I flew. I met him, and when someone comes in. He says, "Hey man, you got to try this." He goes, "What is ecstasy?" He goes, "Yeah, man, give me give me all you got." <laughs> How much is that? Like, give me all you got. So we go, we're all on ecstasy. I never did ecstasy. Much. And we're sitting on a couch and we're drinking with a blow. And he starts to float away. Right? So, I mean, this is how I, so I reach over and I bring him down. And someone goes, what the fuck? You queer touching Sam? And I'm on the show. And Sam goes, thank you, Lenny. <laughs> thank you for bringing me back. 